seven two. And I want to challenge anyone who can hear me within anywhere. If you were once a child, come on over. As a matter of fact, And if you were never a child, come on over anyway, because I know how you got to be where you are now. And like I said, we're out here working together. This is the coalition of people both represent Canada and the United States of America. I'm trying to film it. Represent North America. Represent your children. We are here to be your children's voices. Won't you join us today? Will you help us? Help us help them. Maybe you were one of them. Maybe you haven't been able to talk about it. Come on over. We'll listen. We'll not only listen, we'll do something about what you experience. Strength in numbers is how things happen, folks. That's right. Although it always takes a spark to start a fire, we're going to get an inferno going up here. Now, we need your help. You may not want to come over now, but I ask you in the future. Do something. Reach I'll out. Get online. Today, your Look up when the walls are going on. Our child today, your child tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> Hold on, we have someone who wants to say something. Go ahead, Mom. Our child today, your child tomorrow. That's right. Today it's our child. Tomorrow it may be yours. Folks, I just saw a little doggy go by. I want to tell you a little something. I love animals, and I am an animal rights activist. I believe strongly that animals have rights and they should be protected. But why is it everywhere I travel in the world, animals get more protection than children? Why is it that when we have an animal rights program, matter of fact, from what I understand, there's something going on not too far from here today, where thousands of people are protesting how mammals, sea mammals, are being treated. And yet, our two-legged mammals, human beings, are I challenge you today, love the animal, Give it the love, but rather love the children just a little bit more. More importantly, love yourself enough to understand that you were that child that needed that voice, and now that child needs your voice.